hitting someone in the face with a brick because they refuse to give out their number is inexcusable, but it probably didn't happen. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a video that is blown up all over Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, the news media everywhere of a woman who claims that she was hit in the face with a brick because she refused to give some man her number outside of a club in Texas. Now, I have been watching this story for a few days, right when it first came out, probably like at the beginning of the month. And I knew something wasn't quite right with it. I mean, it was pretty convincing. There were guys right there standing, talking to her. Then she was in the hospital. It was pretty convincing, but I was not quite ready to believe it. And I just couldn't put my finger on it. But I think I have enough evidence to present to you guys to show you that this video, this whole incident was nothing more than another Juicy Smoulye Carly Russell, a big fat hoax. Now, before I go any further, let's watch the original video. If you want to see the video in full without my commentary, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. And they don't give a f Yeah, this man, this man hit me with Grabbed a rock and it hit me in my face because I would have given him my number. And is? all y'all just watch. What you y'all see that? What you y'all see that? What y'all what y'all what y'all do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face? All y'all. Have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Yo, this man just hit. So you see what's going on. Now, when I watch this video, I'm like, okay, it's pretty convincing. Her face is very swollen. Obviously, I don't see any kind of camera tricks or filters. Then there was other video in the hospital. Same thing. She has guys in the background talking to them. So it seemed she was crying. I saw tears in the face. It was pretty convincing, but something just wasn't right. And I was not prepared to make my video on it. And then I started to see other videos from her. Other things didn't make any sense. And I started putting two and two together. Now let's keep on going here. This character right here showed up. And what he said was that he was one of the guys that was in the back that she was talking to. Let's hear from him briefly. Then we're going to move on. Who you guys are trying to speak up for? This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually taunting the guy to hit her. So this guy saying that the, the girl wasn't innocent. She was taunting the guy. Now, this video kind of added to the video's validity. But at the same time, it took away from it. Because I'm like, I mean, you, you it, it it didn't make any sense. It was just... I wasn't feeling like this was authentic. And I think, like I said, we have some evidence. And before we get to the evidence, here's some think pieces. Um, after a black woman is attacked with a brick, she's blamed. How did we allow this to happen? This is on The Root. And then Newsweek, woman says, man, hit her in the face with a brick while crowd watched. Again, cowardly black man didn't do nothing. That's the, the narrative, right? And we have some information. Update. This woman completely scammed everyone who donated to her GoFundMe page. $40,000 to date. Here's the latest. The owner of the establishment looked at the footage and saw no evidence of a woman getting hit. She did not follow police report. Several people who work in the medical field have stated that her injuries are consistent with someone having an allergic reaction to something. Now, that makes a lot of sense. And I'm going to explain why more specifically in just one minute. Now, here are some of the videos that I saw that made me take pause and be like, hmm, something ain't right. All right, let's watch this one first. I, I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual pro property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones. So, okay, what's going on right here from my point of view 
I've seen quite a bit of this on the internet. This is somebody that hates men. Just plain and simple. Okay, we are the protectors. We are the providers. Hoping you're kissing the black woman. You hate men. So it wouldn't be a stretch for you to frame men in a hoax like what happened allegedly on your Instagram, TikTok, whatever that was. So that was a red flag right there. Now here is red flag number two. This is the same woman, and I'm not quite sure if this is a skit, if this is content, or if it's a real thing. So, you have her cussing at some random white dude, slapping them in the face, then she starts twerking. And there are other videos that are doing the same thing to some other random white man, slapping them in the face. Now, if you have that kind of bold energy to slap random white guys in the face, I don't really see how you would get hit in the face with a brick and there was no mutual combat if there was a fight. So the whole brick story, I wasn't really buying. Her just being a victim, I wasn't really buying. The story just wasn't congealing for me. It wasn't congealing. Now we have, to me, this was the ultimate red flag here. Now, this is her on the night of the alleged brick attack. Do you see what she's wearing? That's her right there. What she has on is a balaclava or what the cool kids call a push shiesty. One of these black masks that covers your whole face and your head with the eye slot right there. Now, why are you wearing a push shiesty mask in the club with your dress and your jewelry on? Why? Are you covering up your face because there's something wrong with it? Let's talk about it. Let me turn the sound down because I ain't trying to get a copyright. So you see her with the push shiesty on. Dancing, showing the butt. Okay, okay. And then here she is talking about her face is swollen. Now, what was said at the middle part of this video about the allergic reaction, that's probably what's going on because let me explain something to you. If you ever held a brick in your hand, you know that number one, it's heavy. Number two, it has a rough texture. And number three, it has very sharp edges. If you hit somebody in the face with a brick, it's going to be a chaotic scene. There's going to be blood everywhere. It'll be like she got shot in the head. If you get hit with that much force to make that kind of impression and make your face and your head swell like that, blood everywhere. There's going to be cuts, abrasions, open wounds, skin everywhere. It's not going to be clean. This is like you had a spider bite and it got really bad. That is what's going on. Or a tumor. This is not. You get, you get hit in the face with a brick right now. This does not make any sense for a brick attack at all. And also, if I, ABL, got hit in the head with a brick, I'm not going to go to my Instagram and record a video. I'm not going to TikTok and record a video of myself crying. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call the authorities. If I can't get in my phone because my first priority is to not bleed to death, and regain consciousness, not not fall asleep and die right there on the ground outside of the club. I'm trying to just stop from bleeding. And then once I get that accomplished, I'm calling the police. If I can make a call, I'm sure there are people around that are going to call the police because nobody's going to just sit and watch you get hit in the face of the brick and you got blood spouting everywhere and you on the ground dying and they don't do anything. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, this story, from my point of view, in my opinion, is 100% fake. All right. Now, to bring the point home, this is the same woman back in 2020. Same woman. You grew up and they mad because you trying to be somebody. They mad because you trying to be somebody. I'm trying to be a doctor and they mad. Look what they did to me. Look what they did to me for no reason. They don't beat me up. I'm 30 years old. They don't beat me up. Try to beat me up. Grown ass try to beat me up for no reason. Look at me. I'm not a bad person. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm a good person. And they try to do this to me. I know, I know, angry man. Angry man, my man, I know. I understand. <laughs> I feel you. This same woman did the same act back in 2020, talking about being the victim. Some black man beat me up, all this and that, and the third. Now. Here is where it all comes home. This is, I think, the motivation for these things. Okay, we got money involved. Here is a GoFundMe from back then, 2020. 
help black Muslim mother pay her medical bill. Now, this did okay. It raised 4850 back in 2020. It did okay. The goal was 5100 It got kind of close to it. Now, let's look at right now, 2023, the most recent GoFundMe, Help Rota Recover, $42,244, right? So I think we've identified the MO and the motivation. The MO, claim to be a victim that some black man beat me up, go on social media, make, make the complaint there, go viral, launch a GoFundMe, get paid. That appears to be the whole thing. This is really ridiculous. This whole thing created a really toxic narrative. Some said that black men, you guys are worthless. You're not going to help anybody, not going to protect anybody. She's right. The women are the protectors and the providers. Then some men said she she deserved to get hit in the face with a brick. Like, do you understand what get hit in the face with a brick is? That's something serious. Okay, you can get deleted like that. So I don't think that her being disrespectful or corny or weird or even the little baby type she did to somebody is enough to warrant getting hit in the face with a brick. Although obviously she did not get hit in the face with a brick. All right. But as I close, I want to say this shout out to everybody that uh, wanted to wait and see how this story played out. This was an obvious hoax. And it's really unfortunate because these things do happen. People, women get assaulted sometimes by men for not giving their number out. And Sometimes, like Carly Russell, people do get kidnapped. There are hate crimes, Jesse Smollett. But when you do things like that, whenever somebody says this thing happened to them, there's going to be a level of doubt. It'll be a level of doubt, and it's really unfortunate. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what's going on here with uh, this lady, the Brit lady out there in Texas, staging this whole thing? Do you think it really did happen? She got hit in the face with a brick or do you think it's bogus? It's all lies. Just trying to get attention, trying to get money. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is, in my humble opinion, clearly a hoax. The, the dead giveaway for me was not just some of the other videos and all of that. It was the video on the scene. You getting hit in the face, in the face with a brick is going to cause a chaotic scene. It's going to be blood all over the place. It's going to be unmistakable. That wasn't the case there. So that right there told me it was fake. And then everything else just kind of made my case more. Um, it, 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 it just bolstered my case, put it to you that way. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.